I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a collaboration between Prairie Artisan Ales and Evil Twin. It is their Bible Belt. 13% ABV Imperial Stout. It's kind of a combination of a couple of beers. To say it's um, Evil Twin's even more Jesus, which is a, a high ABV Imperial Stout, an absolute cracker as well. Uh, and then uh, it's flavoured or spiced like um, one of um, Prairie's most notable beers, Bomb. Which, so it's an Imperial Stout, which is the Evil Twin side of things. Then it uses, excuse me, um, chocolate, coffee, well, cacao and herbs, coffee, um, chilli and vanilla. Sounds absolutely incredible. I've heard great things. 13 ABV. Interesting thing about this, both essentially gypsy brewers. Interesting little, I mean it's just a small bottle. We've got this lovely little kind of like wrap on top, so I'll just be off camera opening that up. Um but yes. So two gypsy brewers brewing out of this um brewery called Curb. Creb, is it Creb? It says it on here somewhere. Yeah, Krebs. Brewing Company in Oklahoma. Never heard of them, but you mean everybody's heard of Evil Twin, everybody's heard of Prairie. Doing some very exciting stuff. I've heard this is an absolute stonking beer. I watched Peter, um, Miss uh, Master of Hobbits, review this recently, and he absolutely loved it. As I said, I'm a huge fan of Evil Twin's Even More Jesus. So if you've got that beer and then all those additional ingredients, sounds fantastic. So, let's open into the glass. I've heard it, you do definitely get that chilli chili bite, but it might not be quite as excessive as some chilli beers are. Uh, I don't mind the chilli in an Imperial style, as long as it's well kind of balanced out, it's not just ripping at your um, taste buds. So, fizzed out of the bottle a little bit. Absolutely black as night, the head really dark kind of wisp of froth top there really quite a fine fizzy froth so let's check out the aroma oh good lord oh that's stunning yeah definitely reminds me of even more jesus big time massive chocolate massive coffee big dark chocolate massive kind of sheer kind of charred coffee notes big oh nice velvety Vanilla out in there. Definitely get that chilli. That chilli's in there. It's scratching around at the back of my nostrils. And it's more the... It's not... A, when I had when the habanero um, sculpting, when I had that, when I had that uh, the brewery, you definitely get that kind of like skin. This, you get the sharpness and the tap and the kind of like peppery heat. And the smokiness of some like chipotle. But... Yeah, coffee, chocolate, big roast, big kind of like burnt char, burnt ends of kind of like barbecued meat. Massive, big velvety chocolate. And then that spice hidden away, the acrid sharpness and tartness and tang of damn malt. Good Lord. That smells absolutely incredible. Wow, let's dive in. Can't wait to try it. Cheers. Oh. oh, man alive. First thing that struck me, and I was like, no, it's a bit oily and it's a bit kind of, it's not that full bodied. But goodness me, when that flavour washes out of you. Wow. Oh. Mm, big, full, creamy, velvety chocolate, massive amounts of it, lovely, kind of full espresso, not getting too char, but a slightly sweeter, dark, heavy coffee. Mm. In fact, that vanilla's rounding it all out, softening things up, bringing in, once again, a little bit more sweetness. There's a bit of smoky kind of flavour hanging around. Mm. I'm not getting a hell of a lot of pepper. Not much at all. Maybe it's kind of like slightly masked by um, the high ABV. 
Maybe I'm getting a slight kind of warming flavour. I think I'm going to... Yes, I am, actually. I am getting a bit of kind of like... It's a bit like when you've been cutting chilies and you cut it in your fingers and you lick it. It's a bit like that. It's more the heat than the flavour of chilli. But then again, maybe I'm getting something slightly smoky, as you do get from like chipotle pepper. Mm. But that's ridiculous. Massive dark chocolate going on. Not too dry. And that, that vanilla lifts it. Yeah, once again, slight tang. Yeah, and at the back end, that heat is coming through, becoming slightly spicy, slightly smoky. Ending with that mild vegetal flavour you do get from chilies. With chocolate and coffee. And oh. If it was a, a bit more body, that would be absolutely through the roof. But it tastes. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Oh. Imperial Stout to virtual perfection. Tanya. A serious beer. Stupidly drinkable 13%. But because of those flavours, you just want to keep going back. And then you kind of sit back. And that chilli kind of like starts wafting around and starts kind of like tinkering around with your head. Mm. With that chocolate, slight smoke, sweetness. Oh, goodness me, that's a good beer. <laughs> wow. Glad it's as good as it is. I mean, I had some friends who were a bit like, mm, a friend who I bumped into in um, when I were over in San Francisco, were a bit like, oh, I want, I didn't, I didn't love it, but do you know what? I absolutely do. It's an absolute stonking beer. So that is Prairie Acid and Ales collaboration with Evil Twin. 13% ABV. And that is Bible Belt A Imperial Stout spiced with chocolate, coffee. Vanilla and chili. 30%. Absolutely incredible. I'm Rob from hotteam.com. See you next time. Cheers.